Hey y'all, it's DJ Barbecue with the Unbelievable Alt. And today, we've got a huge dish for our first meat-free meetup. It's chili con carnage. It's a big dish, packed with flavor and protein. I need a big man to facilitate this cookout. <laughs> well, you're off for a big man. A big man's a pizza. Oh, James Haskell. You're a brick uh, wall yes. of awesomeness. Yeah. Not as awesome as the Unbelievable Alt. But if you asked me would I be into meat-free meat, I would have said no. I will feed your, your insecurities. The flavors here, the textures, it's yeah. all there. Okay, I'm all over it, let's go. All right, pour a little bit of oil in the pan. It's okay. getting nice and hot, and I'm gonna cut an onion. Put two onions into the bowl, give it a little stir. All right, now, you don't want to brown the onions, you wanna soften them up, so I move it over to the indirect side of the grill. In that pan, I want you to throw some oil in there, and we're gonna cook, just like the pack says, 14 minutes over a good medium heat gets nice color on this goodness. So normally when I'm doing this for myself, I'll just do one pack, but I'm looking at you and I'm thinking. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> one pack? Okay. We're going big or we're going home and two packs every single time. A lot of alternative foods are technically an issue, but this looks like real meat. And it and tastes it feels like, like meat, man. Into the cauldron. I want you to add two cloves of chopped garlic. I love how you made that as a cauldron. Like, you're not like a wizard or something. Like that. You're, well, you're going to be a wizard. I can see it coming, <laughs> okay. man. Let that beard go. It's a powerful beard. All right, so there goes in two chilies. Yeah. Now it's time for the flavor <laughs> bombs. We've got ground cumin, uh, chili powder, and paprika. And my favorite ingredient, a shot of bourbon. Everybody's favorite ingredient. You just got to remember to put it in the food. <laughs> Throw it in, dude. This is incredible. Watch the colors now. It's just going to be a, a melange of colors. Yeah, mel melange, a smorgasbord, a plethora of colors. Eclectic mix. A cacophony. A cacophony. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've run out of words now. Look at that. You can smell it. OK, we're going to go with two cans of tomatoes into the cauldron. Yes, sir. There's that sweetness, that savoriness from the tomatoes. Here is one of my secret Weapons. Are you ready for this? Two sticks of cinnamon. <laughs> and now my other secret weapon, dark chocolate. It brings in a little bit of sweet, a little bit of bitter, but lots and lots of flavor. And nutritionally, they're fantastic. Got lots of flavonols in there as well. That's it, 70% cocoa. So throw both those in. Do not snack back on those okay. on the way over. I want you to put in a big heaping spoonful of yeast extract. Okay. And that's going to give more flavor, like an umami Flavors. It's a Japanese thing, almost. Well, it's 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 the flavor that every chef tries to achieve. You get it with Parmesan. You get it with mushrooms. You get it with uh, with with anchovies. It's like the all-encompassing savory uh, salt. We're gonna get some water in there as well, so this is gonna help you. Okay. As it reduces, you might want to get a bit more liquid in there. You know, okay. you don't want it super thick, but you do want it thick. It's all about finding the right texture. Do you know what's interesting about this as well, though? is the unbelievable old, it's low carb, low fat, high protein, which is essential for anyone's diet. And they say, uh, we're, we're not meat, but we're for meat lovers. And I am a meat lover. I am too. You are definitely a meat lover. I am. So they can convert us, they can convert anyone, which I'm, I'm excited about because this recipe and everything about this has got a real nice nutritional profile. Yeah, well, it's got everything in there. I mean, you, you know, you got the lysine with the tomatoes, you've got the garlic, you know, this is packed full of superfoods. And it's got the texture of meat. That is meat, but it's not meat. It's time to add them to the chili con carnage. Looks like you're just throwing in big chunks of grilled sirloins. It just looks awesome. And the last and final ingredient, red kidney beans. You don't put them in early because they'll mush out. Now the beauty of this dish, you can have it done in about 45 minutes. But the way I look at barbecue and live fire cooking, it's done when it's done. When you got the right color, the right flavor, you know, you gotta taste your food while you're having it. We actually haven't done a lot of tasting. It's got a nice little chili kick straight away. <laughs> it was it too much? No, 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 it's perfect. Okay. It's perfect. I love chili. I put chili in everything. Good man. Everything I make is just a big red mess of chili and, and meat. <laughs> That's why I'm quite excited to try something that isn't meat. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now, you tasted it. I did. What does it need? In my professional opinion, um, I think a little sprinkle of salt. So salt is the chef's best friend. It is, it's the flavor enhancer. It and crack some pepper. Woo. It's time for Haskell and I to mange. That's French for eat, brother. Yeah, thanks, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> 
you think you got? Where do you think they got me from today? <laughs> well, just found me lurking around the street looking for a high protein meatless meal. Here's your carbs. Now add your goodness. Oh, how good does that look? Probably two spoonfuls. Awesome. Oh, dude. Spring onions on there. Okay. A little bit of chopped coriander. Oh. In case the chilies are a bit too much. A little bit oh, of sour cream to cool lovely, you caring, down. kind barbecue king. And the most important part, the almighty taste test. Go for it, Haskell. Thank you. All aboard the taste train. Next stop, Yum Town. Mm. Hey, the texture is next level. Yeah. Flavor next level, yeah. Really good. The tender beefless pieces are incredible in this. They're kind of browned on the outside like real meat would. Yeah. They've got that nice texture. It goes so well with the chili, and it's like you're eating normal meat. And for somebody that has honestly spent the last kind of five years taking the mick out of vegans, I'm not saying I'm going to become one, but I would certainly add this into my weekly routine as a different bit of variety. But the only promise of doing that is any DJ barbecue around the house. All right, you got it. You in? I'll come over, bro. Oh, fine, sweet. Woo! Right. Thanks so much, everyone. I've got to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm DJ Barbecue. That's James Haskell, and we are with the unbelievable Alt Meat Free Meetups. Ha, ha, ha.